Okay, I've just come into the legacy room. Here's Dave with Raven Audio. They're based in Texas. And there's Bill Douglason from Legacy Audio. Bill, how are you? Very well. What are we showing at the show this year? Well, you know, as usual, we have uh, quite an arrangement of our loudspeakers here, and we'll yeah. review each setup. Uh, Dave, you want to tell them a little bit about the, the amplifiers driving the speakers? Okay. This is our, uh, these are our silhouette monoblocks. They're 125 watts per channel using 6550 power tubes in a push-pull configuration. So they're really, really powerful, uh, uh, equal to a lot more power uh, on a solid state or digital amp, of course, because it's high current tube power. Uh, they're made in College Station, Texas. They're all hand-wired. They're machined in Groveton, Texas, and uh, they'll be plated in uh, at Houston Plating. And uh, like I said, they're all point-to-point -point hand wired. Uh, they retail for $26,000 a pair. Um, comes with the uh, acrylic tops. Uh, they're beautiful. Yeah, they, yeah. they just really work well with uh, almost all of the legacy Atlanta speakers, which uh, I also have in my showroom in, in, uh, on Alaska, Texas, which is about 100 miles north of Houston. And uh, we have them teamed up with uh, the Aris speaker there as well, and it's just really fabulous. Uh, a lot of headroom, uh, a lot of extra power because these speakers are so efficient. And they work well with all of the Legacy line. And the gorgeous new version of the Callista player. Yeah. Yeah, look at the player. Transport on top and a DAC on the bottom. Incredible. That's a beauty. And we're using the Wavelet as a free amplifier, mm -hmm. which it's also a DAC and a, a crossover and mm -hmm. room correction. And mm -hmm. Just a... a one box does all type of thing. And, That's what uh, we like, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's great. It's, it's astounding. It's able to leave the room that the music was recorded in on the playback and remove your room, all of the inefficiencies and the extra bounces and uh, the distortions that's created by the listener's room. It pulls that completely out, leaves the original recording venue on the recording along with the musicians and the music, and it's just fabulous. We have a graphical presentation that we're going to uh, show the viewers if you keep watching, so we're going to get to that in uh, just a moment or two. Yeah, Thank you good. very much for this. Thanks. Yeah. And Bill, what next? Yeah, over here we have our Focus XC speakers that uh, are the mainstay of, of Legacy, and uh, here they're available in our Rosewood finish. Um, we're uh, driving this system right now. The source material is provided by the Metronome MC1, which is a, a music server that's pretty phenomenal and uh, nice features and touch screen and you can just do kinds of all cool, kinds of cool things on the on the touch screen. So um, amplifiers, Dave? These are our flagship. These are the Shaman Mark II monoblocks. Uh, they're capable of uh, 325 watts per channel uh, with the 6550 power tube. They'll take any power tube, KT88, 100s, 120s, 150s, uh, we're able to get a little over 400 watts per channel out of the KT-150s. That's the most powerful triode in that line. Um, they're uh, $49,995. Um, like I said, they're our, our flagship. Um, they, they've been on all day. They run cool. You can even touch the tubes. Oh, my gosh. Hand there. Wow. Not heat up the room like all your other power amps that you're used to. So you can play them in the summer. Yeah, you yeah. can play them in the summer in Texas. Yeah. <laughs> where, where they're handmade, you know, and these are point to point. So uh, uh, we're using Douglas Connection cables on uh, all of our uh, systems wrapping around the room. Uh, he's in uh, Austin, Texas. He's mm -hmm. an old Vietnam helicopter pilot. Uh, mm -hmm. Quite a good story. Uh, uh, he's uh, a great storyteller. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. Uh, he can tell some stories, make some great cables out of uh, Frutech parts, and how about that? Uh, that's I, I love his cables, and they're very very reasonably priced out of Austin, Texas. Great. Well, thank you very much. Let's go on to the next. Okay, now we're over on the other side of the room, and I see we have a, a familiar face here from Chicago. Introduce us, please. Joe Jersey, Tosca Audio. How are you today? I'm good. How are you, man? Uh, you've been carrying Legacy for how long? For a year now. Picked it up last year at the Expo Show. Congratulations! It's one of the best brands in the, in the business. We've had very good success with it. Fantastic! Uh, what do we have here in front of us, guys? 
Uh, actually, he was our first dealer uh, in the United States or anywhere, actually, in uh, uh, Tosca Audio. Uh, well, let me uh, shake your hand. That's really cool. <laughs> we knew we had a winner over there. So. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> what we have here, these are the 26 watts per channel, 300B Spirit Monoblocks. Okay. That's all they are, 26 watts per channel. Okay. They're, they're, uh, uh, this configuration is would this be quad amping is that what you would call this because yeah, of the that's exactly yeah right. so we're this these the top amplifiers are handling uh, the treble section which is here and here uh, the bottom amplifiers are handling the mid-range and the internal amplifiers are handling, handling the subs the subs yeah yep. so uh, amazing setup uh, a little little on the high end for sure but uh, uh, these amps uh, we, we used them last year and this year. Um, they are point to point, hand wired, mm -hmm. uh, anodized, uh, machined in Groton, Texas, anodized at Houston Plating in Houston, and uh, they're, they're pretty uh, much a, they're pretty popular with Raven Audio uh, customers. That's so. great, Bill. And the speakers again. This is the flagship speaker. Yeah, this is our Legacy V system, and it, uh, like Dave said, it's a quad amplified system, so. The way it's configured now, you need to supply two channels amplification per loudspeaker. And it's, of course, uh, controlled by our, our Wavelet processor. Well, that's good. Well, the processor uh, is an extraordinary piece of technological uh, equipment. And what I'd like to do, uh, he mentioned it to me, and I'd like to show the viewers a graphic presentation of how that actually works. Can we do that next? Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, let's do that next. Here we go. And, Bill, what do we have over here? Uh, this year at Exponent, we're introducing us some new technology that we've been working very hard on. And what it does is it uh, takes room correction a step further. And actually, instead of just working on resonances and uh, problematic reflections, what it does is uh, restore things properly in the time domain later in the sound uh, field. And also, um, it uh, properly places the early reflections that were in the recording and uh, eliminates the masking effects of your listening room. So I'll just rip through this really quickly for okay. you. But basically this is just simply a hand clap, the reverberation tail that you would normally get in the room from it, and the composite of the two. And notice the gap between the first clap and then you see the repetition of the clap in a performance room. And what's interesting here is when you, when you have an impulse in a uh, performance room, what happens is, is you get these lateral reflections that tell you all about the dimensions of the room. And that's very useful because you can see the, the, the floor reflection, the ceiling, the height, the side walls, and even the, the first reflection off the back wall. Then that's followed by the more dense reflections and diffusion that you normally get in playback. However, if you take that same recording and you play that back in a listening room, this is what occurs. And what you can see is there's just way too much density and the reflections have too much magnitude early on. So what we're doing is we're working on restoring the diffuse response up to the higher level here. It normally gets absorbed too much, um, clearing out the density of this, and then eliminating these reflections that don't even belong from your room. Go next frame. And you can see this is what we, yeah. that's what we started with, and this is what the room wants to do with it. So go to the next frame. And uh, this is simply a plot of a loudspeaker with directivity control. But one of the things that you can do to help yourself is have a loudspeaker with the highest directivity on the front radiation. Next frame. Um, here is the resonances that occur in rooms that have to be dealt with. And here this is an area around 100 hertz and so forth in the base region. It's quite nasty. And you can see that the, room, the processor cleans that up. And when you look at this plot, um, you'll notice that we've eliminated this garbage information here. It's nearly perfect when you look at it. Now, this is really interesting because this is the, the kind of a unique view. This is time as these energy pulses go past. You can see the decay of any one single pulse. And you can see even the reverb has its own reverb. And so keeping these reflections in proper sequence is paramount to the placement. You see the initial uh, pulse, and then you see the first reflections. Where those are located tell you all you need to know about the room. It's just like a laser tape measure. So, um, and I think that's really what you know, we wanted to kind of show off of this presentation. I think it uh, tells you a lot about what can be done, and, and uh, um, we look forward to demonstrating in future shows more of this technology.
fantastic. Well, graphically, it really explains it. Thank you very much. Let's uh, continue on with our walkthrough. Here we go. Well, Bill, I want to thank you for that graphic demonstration that we just did. That was really, really fascinating. Um, now, let's do a listening session, okay? Would that be cool? You bet. Okay, here we go. All right, let's do it. listening session. Anne Basson was very three-dimensional, almost in the room with us. It was a very punchy, punchy sound. I loved when the bass came in at the end. It was so darn realistic. You guys, pat each other on the back. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> you guys make a great team. Peter Burdinger reporting for AP Showrooms, Bill Dennison with Legacy, Dave with Raven. Thank you.